To start off, you'll need two files and the PS2 BIOS, of course. The PCSX2 Core and the PCSX2 Core Info file. If you want to know how to download these two files from official sources, you can skip to the final chapters of this video. Open your RetroArch Steam folder by going to your Steam library, then click with the right mouse button on your RetroArch, then go to Manage and browse local files. Now copy the core to the course folder in your Steam folder, in your RetroArch Steam folder, and copy or cut, you can cut too if you want the core info file to the info folder. Now for the BIOS in your RetroArch system folder, create a folder called PCSX2. Inside this folder, create another folder called BIOS. Now place your BIOS inside this folder. And everything should be good to go. Open up RetroArch. Load the PS2 multiplayer game. Then all you have to do is invite your friends, if you have one. Then press Alt Tab, invite a friend, click on his name and press Remote Play Together. Then all your friend has to do is to accept the invite. As you can see, everything is working as intended. Layer 2 is working perfectly. If if you have any, uh, if you if you're having any problems in your friend's controller, you can go to RetroArch input settings and try to mess with the uh, second controller. Maybe maybe change the device index number or something like that that's it happy gaming you can download the latest PCSX2 core from the LibRetro Buildbot Buildbot website go to nightly windows if you're using windows then 64 if you're using 64 version of Windows, then latest, and scroll down to PCSX2, download. This is the core. Now for the core info file, go to the libretro github, then go to libretro super, dist info, search for PCSX2, PCSX2, not this one, of course. This one. Then click here on raw. Copy everything that's here. That's inside here. Then create a new text document. Place everything inside. Save as and name it as PCSX2 underscore libretro.info now open your steam go to retrowatch manage browse local files the core info file 
goes to the info in your retro arch folder and the core the pc sx2 core goes inside your course folder For Mattis 2, you'll have to download a regular version of RetroArch. Extract RetroArch to a folder. Launch RetroArch. Then go to Load Core, download the core. Search for the PCSX2. Then you have to go to online updater and update core info files. This will create the PCSX, PCSX2 core info file. Then if you go to your course folder, copy the PCSX2 core to your Steam Retro Arch folder. Go to course and place it inside for the PCSX2 core info file. Go to info, PCSX2 underscore lib retro. Copy this one and place it in your retro arch Steam folder inside the info folder. Now launch RetroWatch and play your favorite multiplayer games.